guys, how's it going? It's Height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Plan B Terraform. In the last episode, we set up our little iron manufacturing facility up here. And then we started setting up a little concrete facility down here. And then we started shipping all the concrete back to our city. Oh my god, look, we're expanding. We got little tents and stuff going on, or little, little biodomes or whatever. I don't know what they are. Anyway, that's great. That is really good. We unlocked, at the end of the last episode, we unlocked a few new things. Including some special buildings, but that's not what I'm interested in right now. There was something about aluminum. I think there was something about aluminum. Is this... Is this aluminum? Oh, this is aluminum. Okay, so maybe we're gonna want to start mining some of this. I think. And just to get us going, let's do something like that. And we can put a depot here for aluminium. There we go. And we want a factory, and I don't know what we're gonna do with this. Aluminum bars. That seems right. Okay, and we're gonna want to store those. Perfect, and then... What can we do with aluminum bars? Let's take a look, shall we? Nothing in here. It's probably in the other factory. Let's see. Aluminum bar. Oh, this also takes mechanical parts, which is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Okay, we're going to need some trucks for that, which is fine. Is that all we can do with aluminum right now? I think that's all we can do with aluminum right now. Just make the atmosphere extractors. Okay. So perhaps then what we'll do is start building another road. Let's get rid of this. And I don't know where I want to build my atmosphere extractor situation. But I'm seeing some concrete here which could be used for some manufacturing later like uh, maybe there's gonna be some reinforced concrete we're gonna have iron and we're gonna have sulfur right beside each other so i don't want to really keep those two things too close together maybe there's not really a better spot for aluminum so hmm i guess what we'll do is bring the aluminum down over here and we'll start a little manufacturing facility down here I don't want to take the iron up here and then have to bring it back because it's just a waste of road. So I think we're going to put a roadway there. I don't know exactly where we're going to stick this one. I may as well stick it close so that we don't have to go far. Like, then I don't need another road. Right? We can just kind of keep it. And actually, I'm thinking about it now. None of this stuff even needs to be here. I could put it on the other side of the world because I don't need roads to transport these things. So maybe, maybe we could just scrap this whole thing and we can start a fresh slate for iron. I don't mind that idea. So this is going to be where we start making iron. And we're going to put a depot in there. Whoop. We're going to make this iron. And what do we actually need for that? I forget. It was mechanical parts, right? So we're going to start making steel bars. Like so. Steel bar. And then we're going to turn the steel bar into mechanical parts. Put that in a depot. And mechanical parts. Where are mechanical parts? There we go. And then... Actually, all we have to do is put one more depot, I guess. I think so. Put one more depot. This is not going to be mechanical parts, though. This is going to be aluminum bars. We're going to need a road. And then we just got to connect this road to here. And set from there all the way down to here and we want to take aluminum bars and we got to switch that so it's going the other way add a couple trucks that should be good enough for now and then all we got to do is add a few assembly plants well just one I suppose 
and this guy is going to make us atmosphere extractors okay and then we have to reset up our other factories that we just destroyed to make us more materials and I think what we're gonna do is just set it up up here or even farther away we may as well just take this take this way far And maybe we can do some weird thing where... Like this, maybe. Oh, I put these in the wrong spot. Didn't I? I need one square in between. Yeah, something... What's going on here? Why is the grid being all janky? Okay, I think it's fine. So we'll put some depots down. These are all going to accept iron ore. Same with these. Iron ore. I wish I could... Oh, I can drag. Oh, that makes it much nicer. There we go. And put those down. Okay, so there we go. Now we're mining for iron ore. And quite simply, we just need a factory here for... Steel bars. Actually, wait. You know what? If I extend this a little bit farther... We could run a couple factories. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just leave it alone. Maybe we'll just use one. And if it builds up, then it builds up. That's actually fine. Okay, so let's go like this. Factory... Steel bar. Factory steel bar. This one will be for... Actually, these are all gonna be steel bar. That is right. We want factory steel bar. Steel bar, steel bar. Okay, and then we want depots for steel bars. Bang, 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 bang. We're gonna want some assemblies for extractors. And this one is actually going to be for depots. Okay, and then we're gonna need two more factories for mechanical parts. And I always forget, we have to scroll down. There we go. And then this one will be for factory and what is this one going to be assembly plant. Okay, there we go. Our new little iron outpost that's going to continue to do its thing. And it's out of our way, so we're not going to end up in trouble there, which is nice. These things should be working now. It looks like they are. Look at that. Atmospheric extractors extracts dioxygen and carbon from the atmosphere continue to produce if at least one of the outputs is not full. Okay, so I don't know exactly what this does. And actually, hang on. Do we need this? We need O2. Where do we get O2 from? Let's just check. What does this make? Does this make... Okay, this makes O2. What do we do with the carbon? Extract dioxygen and carbon. Oh, if at least one of the outputs is not full. So I don't think we have to do anything with carbon. As long as we have oxygen room, we don't need to worry about it. So let's break that. Let's move it closer to our... Let's move it closer to our output here. I think this is going to work. We're going to want a depot connected to there and this depot is going to accept oxygen and then all we should have to do is stick a bunch of these around it and they should be making us oxygen hopefully i don't know what's going to happen with the carbon hopefully nothing but we'll see okay there we go we're making oxygen oxygen's going in that's really good. I like that. And I guess we could extend this even by doing this O2 and adding some more of these. We can extend this as far as we want. I just realized I stopped making trucks. It's gonna be a problem. We need trucks. So we can actually start going up the other way with stuff as well. Why not? We'll put a factory here for steel bars. Factory here for mechanical parts. We're gonna need a storage for steel bar. 
gonna need a storage for mechanical parts and then we're going to need an assembly factory for trucks there we go okay so that's gonna actually start pulling iron the other way and we're going to use that for trucks as well okay that's looking pretty good i'm liking that now there's these landmark buildings that i want and they take concrete so maybe do i want to set that up down there or down here let's just set it up down here let's get a factory going we've already got all this concrete so let's just go ahead and stick one of these down and tell it to make us landmark buildings that should be fine yeah we're making tons and tons of concrete so that's not really a problem how is our demand up here? Is, is things looking okay? We're at 100%, so that's great. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a stockpile. Everything's filling up. Oh, and we're expanding even more. That is wonderful. We got solar power. Okay. Cool. I actually like that. This is cool how it like just expands itself. That's great. All right, so I got way more oxygen here than we're going to need, but... The numbers are going up and things are expanding, so we're getting up there. We're probably going to need to expand our concrete supply at some point, so maybe I will start working on that right away. Okay, now we've got a few of these little landmark things. I'm going to just put a landmark here. How do I change the name of it? Here we go. Type something... Uh, iron... Resources... I don't know. We'll just call it that for now so I can quickly know that's where my iron stuff's being built. I don't really need one for aluminum. It's right here. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't lose that factory up over there. So that is pretty good. As we start to sprawl out... Is this fluoride again? Yeah, fluoride. What else is on this planet? There, I bet as we go, there's going to be more stuff. This game is still in early access. They're probably going to release more materials that you can do stuff with, but I bet we're going to end up discovering stuff or like more things like this that actually make materials out of basically nothing. Because three materials doesn't seem like enough to terraform a whole planet, so we'll have to see what happens there. But we're getting close. We're three quarters of the way to a hundred. Things are looking pretty good. I'm just wondering if we could speed this up by adding another supply depot thingy. We could probably make a few more of these. It just takes a little bit more concrete. And we've got tons of it, so maybe let's do that. Let's make another few of those. Just because we can. Supply center, make some of those. Get that going. I think that's going to be fine. We could probably stop making these soon. Just, I mean, we don't need a ton of them. Our roads are getting up there. We've got over 200 roads. But they're going to go fast. Like, they are going to go fast. So, I'm going to keep making roads. These things we probably don't need that many of. That's basically 40 routes that we could make. You know what? That's probably good. We could actually stop making these for now. Let's, let's turn this off. 40 routes is a lot. I don't think we're going to need that many. And I guess, yeah. So, our, our village here is starting to expand quite fast, which is nice. It's great. We're gonna have to keep an eye on it, but things are getting there. We're so close. Look at this. Depot Mark II drones have a range of two hexagons. That is actually really cool. I like that. Oh, Depot Mark II. Oh, okay, so now we gotta start making upgraded depots. There it is. Reinforced concrete. I knew that was coming. Okay, so polymer, carbon, and plastic waste. And what is this? High-tech parts. Aluminum bar and polymer bar. Where do we get plastic waste from? That is something. I bet it comes from fluorite. Probably not. Where the heck do we get plastic waste from? That is something. I also just realized that we have more towns, like New Chicago's over here, New Dongwon. Uh, that's it. That's all we got. But, I mean, I wonder what New Chicago wants. Probably the same things that the other place wanted, right? Like, does it just want... Let's... Let's see. Does it just want concrete? Come on. Stop it. Yeah, it just wants concrete. So we could ship that there 
really easily, actually. That's, uh, that's not bad. Maybe we could do that. Let's start growing these, let's start growing these things. I don't know what the population actually does. I think it's just our goal. Like, our goal is to just get population, right? So, the faster we grow all the cities, the better we'll do. Okay, maybe we won't worry about it just yet. I started I started building it, and I was like, we don't have that much materials, and we're going to need to start expanding our stuff. So, maybe I need more factories making each of these components, because we're not making them fast enough, I think, is kind of where we're at now. Um... So, how can I speed this up the easiest? I think I can go in here, make more steel bars. Make more steel bars, make more steel bars, make more steel bars. And then we're going to need to connect all of these things together. Steel bar, steel bar, steel bar, steel bar. That should speed up some of that. And I guess we could go even faster by wrapping it around on itself. But for now, what I want mostly is these two things right here. We want more depots and we want more extractors. Those are the two that I'm really low on. And while that's happening, Let's look at what it takes to make these. Aluminum bar and polymer bar. But how do we get polymer bar? I wonder if it's from carbon. It's probably a byproduct of carbon, right? Let's see. Factory. Let's just plunk this down. Polymer bar from carbon. Okay. Here we go. We're getting somewhere. So let's break all this down. We're going to have to move this out of our base, which is going to wreck our population for a second. But it's okay. Let's get this going. Let's start making something here. So the first thing we have to deal with is oxygen. Let's get the oxygen into... Uh, let's get the oxygen into our hub right away so that we don't have to worry about killing all of our people. Cause that would be bad so we'll put a depot down that's gonna be oxygen and we will build a road down into there set for oxygen reverse and just add a bunch of trucks okay there we go so maybe not that many trucks that's probably too many trucks okay there we go so we'll go like that we've got oxygen being dealt with now the carbon that's gonna be coming out can go the other way, I suppose. Carbon. Carbon. There we go. And what are we going to do with that? We are going to start making factories to produce polymer bars. That seems fine. Add a depot for that. And set that to polymer bars. And that should just do its thing for us. That's actually really good. Okay, now we got the polymer bars. To actually make the depot, we need aluminum, which we're already making up here. Aluminum and polymer bar. So we just need one more factory making aluminum bars. And actually what we could do is just expand this one. I don't see why we couldn't just expand this one. So let's add a... Uh, how do I want to do this? We need more depots, man. This is just unacceptable. We need more depots. What's going on up here? Make me more depots. Oh, look at this. When your depots fill up, your trucks just sit there and wait. Oh, because they want reinforced concrete now. Uh, so this is not going to cut it anymore. That is not going to cut it anymore. Well, we've got concrete and we've got steel right here. So we could start making reinforced concrete. <sighs> I guess we're going to have to just shut these boys off. This doesn't even need to be here anymore. Let's just cut this thing right off. We don't need it. Goodbye.
And since we already have all of this concrete here, and we've already got a thing set up. Wait, why is it telling me to, that it's shipping up there? There's nowhere to even ship it to. That's very weird. Anyway, we're going to set up a new factory here for the reinforced concrete production, I think. We just need a bunch of steel bars. Um, hmm. I, I should I finish. I got to finish this before I start that. We were upgrading our aluminum. Let's upgrade our aluminum. Let's get this going. Let's do this really good here. Okay, so that's going to do that. And we're going to need to actually branch this over. I think. Because if we don't branch this over, then we're not going to be able to keep up with the demand. So we're, here we go. Aluminum bars. We're going to make a whole bunch of those. And then we're going to need depots for those. There we go. And then all I got to do with, with that is set up a new route. And this one... Can I use the same road? That would be really good if I could just use the same road. And we'll take this down... Where do we want to take this even? Um... We'll take this down over here somewhere. I think. Will that connect? It seems like it will. Let's see what happens. If I put a factory in here and tell it to start making depot twos, we're going to need a depot, first of all, for aluminum bars. And then I'll, I think all I should have to do, hopefully, is set the origin for this spot as this spot. Set this to aluminum bar. And reverse that. Give them some trucks. And they should be doing their thing. What's going on here? Why are these? Oh, these are supposed to be aluminum bar. That's why. Those were supposed to be aluminum bar. There we go. Perfect. Now we are going to be making a ton of aluminum bar. We're shipping it down here with our trucks. Looking good. We're going to start making some depot. We're going to make some Mark II depots. Two hex range and distribute them to consumer buildings. That seems good to me. Okay, let's see what happens. It should start making us some depots here as soon as this truck gets here. Perfect. There we go. We are making depots. Depot Mark II. Okay, wonderful. So now that that's doing its thing, we've already got the concrete set up here. We want to start setting up a new iron factory. The same thing as per usual, I think. This system of just making strips of these... And then adding a row of depots and then a row of these. It seems like it's working pretty good for me. So we're going to do that again. Iron. And then we're going to do this kind of system where I run that over like this. And I set up a whole bunch of iron or steel bar factories. Whoops. Okay, and then we're going to need a bunch of depots for those steel bars. There we go. That should be good. I think that's going to be fine. Eventually, I'm going to want to upgrade these to Mark II so that they can reach farther and spread out better. But for now, I think it will work. Why is it... It's not working as well as I wanted it to. But it's working kind of. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, maybe this has to like build up before it starts working properly. I think theoretically what it wants to do is distribute the iron on these evenly. 
but because there's not that much maybe it's kind of messing it up a little bit i don't know we'll have to see we'll, we'll let it do its thing i think it's fine for now now what i want to do is get another depot ah, let's go up here with it and we'll set this to concrete we'll set up a factory like this for reinforced concrete and then how do i want to do this part i'm not sure i mean i guess we'll start with a road i need to get resources here Whoop! come here road connect that to this and we will change the destination to here come on is that destination what's going on I always do this backwards set and we want this to be concrete and we want it to go that way and here have some trucks okay here they go look at all those trucks okay so they're gonna send them up there that's gonna start making us reinforced concrete and then do we want more i think what we want is more concrete depots so that i can have more of these factories i think again i'm not totally sure about this part but once we start getting these mark twos if i set this to reinforced concrete it should be able to pull out of there, I'm hoping. We'll see what happens once those trucks get here. Okay, they're coming. That should start making us reinforce concrete. And then once that happens, I'm hoping I can just take from here. Let's see. Okay, that's going to start making us some reinforced concrete. Good. Come on. What? I hope it ends up over here. And it does. It ends up over here. Okay, so perfect. Then I can take from here. We want to just connect that road to here. Like that. Change this from concrete to reinforced concrete. Set a thing like this for reinforced concrete. Make sure it's going the right way. And then just slam trucks at it. Now, we're probably not going to be able to fully keep up with that demand, but I mean, that's not bad. That is not bad. There we go. We are meeting the demand of our city here. That is perfect. We are still making some Mark II depots. I did go ahead and upgrade all of these to Mark II, and it seems like it's really starting to push the materials down, which is good. It's It could be better, but it's not bad. I will take it. It's working for now. Hopefully, there's a better way to distribute resources as we go, but for now, I think that is more than fine. Where are we at? High-tech parts. Aluminum bar and polymer. Now, that means we could basically just build it down here. We've already got the aluminum bar and we've already got polymer. So I think all I have to do is extend this over one, add polymer bar, nope, aluminum bar to it. And then if I put a factory in here, is it a factory that we need? Yeah, high tech parts. That's just gonna start making us high tech parts. And we can put that up here. Just to keep it out of the way and those are gonna go over there start scooping it up and now we're making high-tech parts that's absolutely amazing i love it okay let's even add more let's add more aluminum bars we got to get tons of these things look we're all backed up here that's actually great so we'll keep that going we probably don't need these things anymore but we're making 35 or we have 35 of them and I mean, look what we're doing. I got I got so many of them that I've extended them over here just to help with the carbon production, even though we don't even need it anymore. 
so, I mean, there's that. That's pretty good. But we'll, you know what, we'll leave it. It's not costing us that much to run. I got it over here in the little dinky iron that's basically empty. Like, this one... This one actually is empty already. It's not even doing anything anymore. I, I think it's fine. We'll leave it. Look at all these trucks. This is amazing. All right, guys. So our current mission is to get 350 population, which I don't think is going to be too big of a deal. We're at 100% demand. We've got tons of oxygen. It seems like our reinforced concrete supply is more than satisfactory for now. How's our actual concrete doing? Concrete's doing fine. For the most part. It seems like we could extend this a little bit because this side's not quite as full. Oh, we can start doing fluoride. Oh, we could always do fluoride. Never mind. Let's extend this a little bit. We have the capacity to do it, so. Let's just get that going. Fill that up nice and full. And you know what? Maybe I'll add a depot here for sulfur and a couple more and then we can even add more factories for concrete because why not we'll maximize our production here you know i love just sitting here listening to the music watching my little drone guys haul iron all over the place they look like little grasshoppers kind of it's just so peaceful Look at what we've built. It's amazing. It's a work of art. It's super inefficient. But I love it. It's mine. Anyway. Guys, we are basically at the 350 mark. So there it is. We've unlocked the level 6 objectives. Greenhouse gases. Sulfur and fluoride. I guess we're going to just start pumping greenhouse gases in. Greenhouse gas generator. Produce greenhouse gas like sulfur hexafluoride. 24,000 times more powerful than CO2 or nitrogen trifluoride. More powerful than CO2 and releases it into the atmosphere. Cost mechanical parts and high-tech parts. Well, we've already started making high-tech parts and mechanical parts are easy peasy. So that's not really a problem at all. But you know what? We are going to work on that in the next episode. So guys... I hope you're liking the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.